Hey guys, got another video here for you. Now if you're trying to install Windows updates and you're having issues with it and you're getting errors up on the screen saying fail to install and you're getting messages, error messages of the like uh, error underscore file not found and uh, invalid data and so on. The list is endless really. Uh, these can be pretty tricky to find out what's going on with the system and I'm going to show you a few steps that you can take to actually get around this okay now you may be trying to install service pack 1 for windows 7 or something like that and having big issues uh, there is a few people having problems and i'll show you some steps that you can take okay so the first thing you want to be doing is uh, getting a tool called system update readiness tool this is done by microsoft and uh, all you need to do is have a valid copy of windows because it will validate the uh, version that you've got and then you come down to here and you download it okay now this will work for Windows Vista uh, Windows Server 2008 also Windows 7 and Server 2008 R2 32-bit and 64-bit versions okay now what it does is it will run and as you can see here it will uh, check the integrity of the uh, system and uh, check these locations and do a lot of fixes to the registry and stuff like that okay it will do more than just install so it may look like it's not doing anything so first off I've got my version here I'm going to install this and uh, once that's done it will take some considerable time so I'll just let this uh, go and I'll say yes to this and it will start to download and run some checks on the system now the tool will fix different errors automatically so if you're getting error certain errors on the system it will automatically fix them so it's worth updating okay um, so the, the next thing it will do is also check the registry for any errors on the registry that's related to the updates and fix those errors for you automatically. Now once this is completed I'll show you some other things that you can do if this doesn't work. So we'll let this uh, do its thing, it does take a bit of time so just leave it alone and let it uh, install. So as you can see it will take some time there it's going to be doing a lot of checks it can take up to 15 minutes so it may look like it's hanging in some stages just leave it alone and let it do its thing because what it's doing is it's checking the whole of the system for any errors that may be happening that's stopping uh, the actual windows updates working or the actual updates being installed properly so once that's finished its job it should fix a hell of a lot of issues uh, and i will post those up on the screen as you see them the error sort of errors it will fix okay okay so that's the actual uh, the actual update finished now so we can close this off and the next thing if that doesn't work if you've not been successful with that what I'm going to do is show you another thing that you can do with uh, Windows 7 uh, Windows 7 has got a load of tools that you can actually use to uh, fix a lot of issues um, so you need to come down to the orb or the start button here and uh, come to control panel now you may have this look here um, and you also may have this look it doesn't really matter all you need to do is come to the top here okay so I'll uh, just quickly go to the top and type uh, T uh, for troubleshooting and as you can see there we can see troubleshooting so you, you can either type troubleshooting in there or just push T and it should give you a long list of stuff so we're going to click on the uh, troubleshooting and then come down to where it says fix problems with windows update okay so once you click on that it does take a bit of time it sort of looks like it's not doing anything just click on that and leave it and it should fire up like so now what you want to do here is as you can see it's saying resolve problems that prevent you from updating windows now there is an advanced option here and uh, you can automatically repair windows updates so what you want to do is go next and let the uh, download the troubleshooter and it will delete uh, detect any problems and then resolve these problems for you and hopefully that will resolve a lot of issues that you may have with trying to install uh, updates now I'm not so sure about if you've had problems with malware that's caused the uh, Windows updates to not work it's worth a try give it a go um, if that doesn't work then you've also got loads of other tools on the internet that you could actually use that fixes uh, Windows update maybe it's the uh, registry that's been changed but I'm pretty sure that this would uh, resolve a lot of your issues okay 
Now, that's pretty much it for this video. It's only a short, basic video. I just wanted to give people a heads up on how to get around some uh, simple issues that you may be having with Windows updates uh, and Windows Service Pack updates. Okay, so my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do re enjoy them, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button and share support. Also, rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos in the future. So if you've got any requests for videos, drop me a message and I'll do my best to make that video for you. Okay, so I'll see you again soon. See you later. Bye.